Oh, uh, hello there. So in this video, I want to share with you a restaurant I have been going to for years. It's called Indian Belpuri Veg, and it's in Angel Islington, London, and they serve vegetarian and vegan foods like curries and dals and rice and it's a buffet style restaurant and it's a very unique place and if you haven't been there I really recommend going just to see it and experience the place. So I kind of wanted to review the place as well, I've been going there for years and me and Alex have a nickname for it, we call it Potato House. Alex started calling it Potato House and then we just call it Potato House. <laughs> I made some notes, so I'm going to just refer to them. The cost of the buffet, I think we paid about $8.95 each. I'm sure it's cheaper, but I think maybe we got a drink. I think that's where they make their money as well, the drinks. Most restaurants are like that, they make their money on their, their drinks, you know, so. Um, you know, the food is cheap, you can eat as much as you want, it's a buffet, so. One of the main things I really, really like about this restaurant is, so if a homeless person comes in, they can, um, take away a takeaway box of food and that's just something that the restaurant does they serve the homeless and I think that's you know amazing I feel like the quality of the food is value for money and the amount that you can you know enjoy is value for money um, it's not like a small tiny dish of gourmet mm, and the food is really really tasty so Indian Belpuri veg is open between 12 and 11 p.m. Uh, initially, initially when I, when we first started going there, they didn't say what was vegan and what wasn't vegan. So because I was going there as a vegetarian, that was fine, and I just ate everything. Um, but then when I went vegan, I kind of, I guess I started to just guess what didn't contain dairy. I don't think they serve eggs there. Um, it was just like dairy, like paneer and things like that. And I figured most places wouldn't cook everything with ghee. You know, it's not viable for them to make money to use ghee yeah that's what i did but now everything is labeled vegetarian or vegan and it's you know it's really useful if you want to go there and you're vegan and or you know if you're vegetarian you can eat everything um so so during the day it's less busy like most places and then in the evening it gets busier there's bigger groups of people but you don't have to worry about like um it being overcrowded or anything I would say my favourite dish is the dal. They do like a really garlicky dal, and I just I love that. I tr and I started trying to make it myself, and just adding tons of garlic to my dal, and it was yeah, it's not as good as theirs, but it's getting better. Um, but that's yeah, that's my favourite. I think my favourite dish. I also like all the fresh salads that they serve. You know, it's nice. I've always enjoyed having raw food with cooked food, like the mix together in one plate. So one of the things, it's not so much what I didn't like, but kind of what people have said. They have this like paneer dish and it's paneer and potato. So when you look inside and you're taking out like a spoonful of the dish, um, it looks like there's like tons of paneer and it's a lot of potato, a little bit of paneer. I guess that's quite disappointing for some people because they feel like, yeah, paneer. No, it's um, potato and paneer. My other, I wouldn't say it's a dislike, but it's not a favourite thing about the place. But I feel like it needs a little bit of a touch up. The downstairs, that is. The stairs are a bit like, like one step is big and then one step is small and then it's just a bit weird to walk, walk up and down those stairs. The sink when you're washing your hands feels cramped and the hand dryer doesn't work properly. But I mean, it's minor things, it's not like major things, it's not something you feel like, oh my god, it's like very small things. Um, yeah, like I said, I've been going there for years, so it's not like <laughs> put me off or anything. Um, one other thing I forgot to say that I really like um, when you walk in there, your most people are shocked by the amount of information they have, like all over the walls of the restaurant. And it's literally like, wow, you know, there's so much stuff to look at. And it's all about um, being vegetarian and not eating meats. And it's just so interesting. And whenever I go there, there's new things on the walls that I haven't seen before. Or I don't know if it's even new, maybe I just haven't seen it before. But um, 
it's yeah it's just very interesting to see in terms of the service they they're not like really friendly but they're not unfriendly either they're just like hi <laughs> that's the only way i can say it I'm like thank you they're not they don't go out their way to be like hey welcome yeah yeah but uh, i mean the food is good so it's still and it's a nice experience it's a nice place to go and sit down they don't bother you by asking is everything okay all the time and clearing up around you and asking you know you feel like more, you feel relaxed when you're there one thing i think like most buffets i think this is kind of obvious when you go to a buffet most places don't really like if you ask for just tap water because that's where they make most of their money i feel like that's just a general no-no when you go to a buffet don't ask for tap water because that's where they make their money and especially this place you know they give to the homeless and they give they make food for like the community you know that's worth the extra 50p extra you might pay for your coke rather than oh and if you drink alcohol you can bring your own alcohol they they don't have alcohol there they have non-alcoholic drinks in the um like non-alcoholic beers in the fridge but if you do want to drink alcohol you can you just have to bring your own maybe i guess they wouldn't sell it because i think maybe religious reasons or something i'm guessing i don't know i think maybe they're muslim but i'm not 100 percent sure in there Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that video and you can check the place out. I recommend it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, if you like this video, please give it a like. And in the comments, tell me what you think. If you've ever been to the place, tell me what you think. If you feel like going. And I will see you in the next video. If you feel like it, you can subscribe. That'll be more for. Okay, I'll see you. Bye.